contaminated mangrove swamps and a thick film of oil floating on the water stand as a stark reminder of the devastation still haunting communities in Nigeria's oil rich delta. In Ogoniland, land, it's not only the creeks, but also sources of water and farms that have been polluted as multinational oil companies vigorously explored and drilled in this once pristine environment. But after years of inaction, the Nigerian government is attempting to right a historic wrong. We are in the field, even as of today, doing delineation. We produced an action plan for the rest of this year, which allows for us to hit the field um, sometime in September doing the remediation work. But that is still a long wait for the people whose farms, fish ponds and sources of water are contaminated. This is one of the 64 polluted sites identified in the report by the United Nations Environment Program. Community leaders in Nigeria's oil producing delta say there are more. Environmental experts say it could take between 25 and 50 years to decontaminate and restore the land, water and vegetation here. All giant shell, accused of being a major polluter, has begun work on a quarter of the 4,000 hectares of contaminated mangrove swamp. The first phase, covering 600 hectares, is already showing some promising results. What we did in the first phase was to remove the free phase flowing oil, or oil trapped in sediment, we agitated it, and we recovered them. The second phase will go more deeper into the subsurface. You could see the color of the water, you could see the environment, you could see the mangrove they are growing. It's a slow process, and the frustration is already rekindling all grievances among the unemployed who previously targeted oil infrastructure. They leave us with no choice but to vandalize pipelines, because that's our, own, our only source of income right now. And we are very hungry. And the pipeline vandalization can never stop until the international community has come to our aid. We this is a sentiment shared by many. It could be decades before the environment is restored, that's if it can be. But what cannot be replaced is a loss suffered by the communities for generations as a result of oil exploration. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Ogoni, in Nigeria's Delta.